Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Okay, so I'm using an ultramarine light with some gold, some white, some copper, ultramarine dark and some silver. And I'm going on a big canvas using my embroidery rings to create something really special. And I want you to stick around because what I create actually is a bit of a wow moment for me. So I'm gonna use my rings and I'm going to blow a design from one corner to the other. And I'm going to incorporate my rings to almost show like a 3D effect. And I'm going to blow out each end. So let me put the rings to one side. Let me get the base layer down. And let's see what we can create. Okay, so I think I'm going to use two rings and I'm thinking about positioning them almost where you see them with a line going directly down the middle from corner to corner. So I'm going to start with my white and as always, I'm going to use my first colour to be a bit of a guide for me, a bit of a guide for me to follow where I'm layering the paints on top of each other and blowing them out. So yeah, I think this is the kind of line that I'm going to go for. I'm going to build all my colours on top of each other and then blow it out. But yeah, I think the rings will go around yeah, this area. That That's my initial intention anyway. So I just want to make sure I don't go too wide because I want to incorporate those rings. So I'm going to take each colour one by one and I'm going to layer them on the top. And then what I'll do is I'll take my blow dryer and blow out the paint along that line and in each of the opposite corners. I'm going to start with this now, but I have a feeling that I'm going to want to put a little bit more paint on the corners because I really want the design to flourish and to flow out on those corners that you see. But you know what? I'm going to get my torch. I'm going to pop the air bubbles that I can see, and then I'm going to take my blow dryer and start blowing out this creation. And remember, just go with it sometimes and if you need to add a bit more paint that's totally okay. So I'm going to start from the middle and then I'm going to work my way to the corners. I'm already really enjoying this colour palette and that copper just really pops through. And that darker ultramarine violet works really well with the light version. I'm glad I went for the light as the base colour because it really helps build that contrast when I use the other colours on top. So I'm just working my way from corner to corner, having a little look at the composition and I'm already thinking I need some more paint in these corners and that's totally okay, yeah? So. I actually am really happy with the middle part, but I'm not sure about whether to have just one ring or two rings. So that middle part that you can see, I'm thinking maybe just one ring and almost change it up a bit. So you might have seen some of the swipe designs I've been doing recently. So how about I incorporate the swipe as well into this creation? So first things first, I really want to add some more colour and paint to the corners. Now, I'm doing that because I really want to create that balance and that depth. 
So by adding some more paint and blowing out over the top, I'm really looking at the composition because I really want the lines in the middle to set, to stay quite slim. But I really want like a flourish and a burst of almost energy on each of the corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more paint now. I always use my torch to get rid of any air bubbles and then I can use my blow dryer to blow out the paint and really work the creation and really work the design. And guys, if you're not happy with something, scrape it off and apply some more paint. Or if you want to add a little bit more paint anyway, then do what I've just done. It's totally okay to almost kind of divert and change your mind when you're creating. Because that's one really good thing that I find. When you're in the kind of the creative moment, you think of all these other ideas and sometimes you've just got to go with it. Because if you don't push your own boundaries and explore what really is possible, then you don't evolve and develop your skills. And that's one thing that I'm really championing at the moment. I'm almost thinking, what else can I do to really push myself and to explore and to experiment? So you may see that this design evolves quite a lot from my original plan. I'm gonna stick with just one ring, but I'm adding in some swipes as well. And you really don't want to miss this final look because I absolutely love it. And by doing this, it's given me even more ideas about how to do some future pieces. But as always, I really would love your feedback. What do you think about this piece so far? And please stick around right till the end so you can see how I incorporate the swipe. I'm also going to incorporate the embroidery ring. I really want to have that as a focal point in the middle. But let me just work now on getting those colours right at each end. And then we're going to focus on the middle and I'm going to show you what I do with the swipe. Okay, so I've definitely convinced myself to stick with just one embroidery ring and I'm going to place that in the middle just here. But first of all, I'm going to dip it in some gold paint and then I will place the ring back onto the surface of the canvas just to make that imprint of the gold ring. I'm going to just press it down so the paint sticks to the surface of the canvas and then I'm going to slowly release the ring itself back up from the canvas and it should leave an imprint of the gold ring. There we go. So again, this is gonna be used as my guide because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my gold paint and I'm gonna fill that line a bit thicker. I want a shadow on it, so I'm gonna put quite a lot of paint down and I'm going to use my fingers to create some finger swipes as well. So yeah, this is a piece that's evolving by the minute and I'm just having a lot of fun. And I hope you can tell that I'm having a lot of fun. And yeah, I'm enthusiastic about this because I've not done this before. I'm going with my gut feeling and I really want to explore my creativity. Let me know what you think. What do you think of this so far? Now, all of my paints are mixed with just paint and water. One part paint to one part water. And I'm just using my finger now just to make some of those lines a little bit softer. I want to ensure that I create that 3D effect with the ring. So one side of the ring needs to flow through the ring. So I almost need to disperse that gold 
part of the ring that overlaps with the paint. And then on the other side, ensure that it does overlap with the paint because that's what creates the 3D effect. So don't be scared to jump in with your fingers and do some finger swipes as you go along. It's just as good as using a palette knife and actually it really helps you connect with the piece that you're working on to feel that paint on your fingers to to let it glide across the canvas and to really kind of jump in and be there in the moment with this piece that you're creating so i'm just adding some shadow and i'm doing that by moving the paint with my finger around the circle Now, normally I use pouring medium flow troll when I do my swipes, but this is just paint and water and I'm using toilet paper. So a paper towel to use as the swiping tool. And all I'm doing is I'm putting the paper towel onto the paint and swiping across. I'm not applying much pressure. It's a dry paper towel and I'm just allowing the paper towel to touch the surface of the canvas where the gold paint is, and I'm just slowly swiping out. It may look like I'm rushing this bit, but I've sped the video up just so you don't get bored. But remember, if you're swiping and you see a gap, just like I've seen here, I add a little bit more paint to the circle, and then I take my paper towel and I will re-swipe that area. And that's totally okay. I don't want to overdo this bit because I really want the swipe to almost be organic and quite natural. I'd really like to change some of the composition. I think I need to add a little bit more paint on the corners for a blowout. But as you can see, I'm using my paper towels for the swipe and I'm also using my finger just to add some of that closer detail. finger swipes can be so much fun. It can allow you to create a completely different pattern on the surface of your canvas, but it also really helps me connect with the piece. As you know, I'm really into my mindfulness. I really like and enjoy being in the moment, and I really feel that with every piece that I create. And I do that by using my senses of touch and feel. So I'm just going to use my finger to add some of those swipes in and then I'm going to show you a close-up. Now this is the wet version. I'm keeping everything crossed that it dries really well. It's a completely different design to what I envisaged to begin with in terms of I hadn't really thought about using just one ring. I wanted to use two and I've incorporated a swipe but as you can see by using just paint and water and the colours that I've used have also created some cells and that gives that added depth and movement to the piece. Oh, I'm gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna keep everything crossed that this dries really well because it's a bit different to what I normally do. I feel like I'm evolving my creativity as I even speak to you now. So I'll let this dry and I'm gonna show you the dried version.
But before I do that, as I stand back and look at the composition, I just want to go back and add a little bit more paint into this area. I almost feel that I need to do that for a balanced composition. I feel that this area here isn't as strong as it can be. So I'm just adding some more paint. I'm taking each color in turn, layering it on top of each other. And then I will take my blow dryer and blow out that piece just there. It makes it a lot stronger. And with the overall design, when I show you again, what it looks like, I hope you'll agree that it was the right decision. It's something that I really needed to add into this piece. And I'm glad that some of the copper is really popping up and showing in that area. Because as you can see on the right hand side, it also shows as well. So that's the balancing act that I've created with this piece. I'm gonna take you in for a little, ver little look at the wet version before I move on to the dry version. And as always, I'd love to know what you think. This is so different from what I've done before, but hey, I've had fun and I hope it inspires you to do something similar too. Okay, so here is the dried version. I haven't varnished it yet. I will apply a gloss spray varnish. I normally use Winsor & Newton for that. That's my go-to varnish. But I just love some of these details. I love how it's dried. I really like the base color that I've chosen. It's dried a little bit darker, but that's totally okay because those silvers, golds, and coppers really pop through and then the depth has been created by using the darker ultramarine with a little bit of white as well. But some of those details I just absolutely love and I've created some cells along this journey too. Let me know what you think guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I really hope I get to see you in the next video. And remember, if you're enjoying what you see, recommend me to your friends, like the video and share it if you can because then that helps me grow as an artist and it helps me grow my channel to reach more people who might like this kind of work thanks everyone take care and see you soon bye